So I gave that bollocks a yes, sir. No, sir. You know, let him think he got the better of me, you know. And later on that night, I rode his youngest daughter in his own barn. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going, Seamus. Fill that cart there till we get out of here. You'd think this ever was your own the way you're working, Tom. I'm telling you, California. That's where we should be. These lads out there are making more picking oranges from trees. <laughs> really? That's improving. Maybe in a few months, when we have a few dollars in our pockets, maybe, maybe then we can talk about going to California, huh? The air is meant to be fresh down there. So that would be the best thing for Dad. Silver tongued. This beats all. Picks and shovels the rest of us got. <laughs> There's nothing here since that. What's going on, lads? What is this about? Your bros invented a new way to extract silver from the mine. You up out. Leave it be, you have us. There's nothing here. <laughs> He's a sick man, please. Lad, go turn on each other. Continue the search. Keep it in English. Come on, Ian. Come on. Shut your gob and open that gate. Let the puck go out of there. <laughs> <laughs> you have another drop of this, Coley. Here you are now. It'll put hair on your chest, I'm telling you. Huh? No, thank Aye. you. How could I leave Latsy from Ross Smoke behind bars in prison? <laughs> <laughs> and it's back to Ross Smoke that I'm going myself now. I have the old place bought at home. Well, indeed, I'd go back with you. But I won't be parted from the boys again. Well, why don't all of us go home together? Um, uh... We'll do good enough out here yet, Parik. My pickaxe along with your prayers, you know? Uh, the old place bought, back at home, and a little bit extra. <laughs> 
What do you see now? This here is the Yukon Territory. And uh, that's the Klondike River. And that right there is where my claim is, on Last Chance Creek. There's a little town there they call Dominion. A miserable little town, Dominion. Have a look at that now. Well, when myself and your old fella there, when we came out here first, do you remember it, Coley? We made a promise to each other that if one of us did well, we'd both do well. Now, the claim that I have, she's been well worked, but there is money in her still. And now, here's the deed, and it's been put in your four names. <laughs> Here, read that. Is it cold up there? <laughs> it is. You'll get rain there and all kinds of it. Really? Oh, you will. Listen, Seamus. When this story goes out about the gold up north, there'll be plunder. Now it'd be a good thing to be there before them, be ahead of them, you know? There. What is this? Oh, uh, that was a prospector, a friend of mine. And he had an old Indian working along with him. And he died of something or other. But before he went to the Indian's heaven, he left that map to my friend. And he said, there was a load of gold to be got on it. <laughs> no. A kind of, a kind of treasure map. Exactly. Treasure map. Good idea. Here, show it to me. <laughs> what do you think of that? That. Give us another drop of that. Where is he? Where's Seamus? He's after going with the bear's deed. You and your brother have to go after him. No, he can't leave you here. I'm the one who's leaving. I'm going back to Ireland with the bear. You're letting Seamus' stupidity throw us all to the four winds. Seamus won't last a year alone. So go and get him. And when you do, stay together and don't be parted again. Now promise me. We promise.
Does this boat go to Dominion Creek? Goes all the way up to Dawson City, son. $25 to get you on board. You hop off wherever suits you. Boat leaves at noon. Thanks. Good day. Unfortunate soul has mislaid that poke. Fellow pilgrims. There must be over six hundred dollars here. <laughs> That's two hundred dollars a piece. Fortune's wheel has spun our way. Hold your horses. That someone's hard earned. You should at least ask round. It's the Christian thing. It is, of course. We'll only share it if. The owner can't be found. That's fine. How can we trust you just won't take the gold and run? Yeah, come back. Say you found the owner, gave him the gold, and then the poke's still cozy in your pocket. I do despair of this world. Fine. I'll leave the gold here with you, my newly met and trusted friends. But how can I trust you, pal, be here when I get back? I will give you $100 as a sign of good faith. How does that sound? Sounds like halfway to a surety. Think you can put up there on 100? Close enough, young man. Now him, I do trust. All aboard for Dawson City. How long did he say? What did you think of him? Look, even if he ran, we've got the gold. It's good for 300 each. Still, he has our cash. I'm going to look for him. Hey, hey. <laughs> I'm not going to let you out of my sight with that. Of course not. And you still need to be here in case he does come back. I'll see you in 10 minutes. Last chance for Dawson City. Will you take hold? <laughs> That's the only currency that matters here, sir. <laughs> yeah, I saw you conversing with Sophie Smith. Please tell me this is Dominion Creek, lads. Yeah, over that pine. Yeah!
Welcome to Dominion. Look there, that's JJ Hopkins, one of the Klondike kings and owner of the best saloon in town. <laughs> he sure knows how to promote it. Petey McDonough. Welcome to the city of gold. <laughs> Man. Captain, he's an acquaintanceship. We've just had an entirely understandable misunderstanding. I misunderstand the house rules too. You and that friend of yours vanished with the gold. You didn't give him the bag of stones. <laughs> he cooked us nicely, didn't he? To be fair, I secured my share in cash. Fortuna's wheel tends to spin me all right. I'll tell you what. How about a hundred bucks for the table? Roll up, gentlemen, the wheel Place your bets. Oh, Where she stops, nobody knows. Oh, 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 oh. Your luck is in. Lady Fortuna is in love with you, sir. Place your bets, gentlemen. The wheel never stops. Again, sir. Here, here, let's head to Belinda's. Few girls. Pick it up there, pick it up. It appears, darling, that the house does not always win. And Stella. I believe that gave you pleasure. If I didn't know the truth of your undying love. And do you, do you ever claim up here, PTL? Eh? Indeed I don't. There are other ways to get gold. Belinda, ring the bell and put out the drinks. You're all very welcome. Sam from Cape Mulrine. Go on there, Kate. Tamachrisha got lock. Ovan van veren is van ach ma helsa, kis is der ach ma.
Good morning, Mr. Connolly. I didn't charge you the room rate, but it cost ten dollars to stay overnight. Ten dollars? <clears throat> That's a lot, isn't it? It's scandalous. Welcome to Dominion Creek, my boy. Take those firearms. You can collect them when you leave Dominion. No man has ever parted me from my hands. It's the law, Mr. Galvin. Captain. It's Captain Galvin. You know that. Seems to me you just make these laws up as you go along. Superintendent Steele. You can give me the guns, or I can take them. That's the sum of your choices. $10 for a shovel. $10 for a pick. Your singing was just powerful last night. Kate Mulrine's your name. Where are you from again? Ballyhorney in County Cork. I'm Seamus Connolly. From No Smoke. Come on. <laughs> you told anyone who'd listen last night who you were. And you're not bad dancing a jig. <laughs> <laughs> but a jig won't buy you a meal in Dominion. And I didn't come thousands of miles to talk nonsense with a playboy. So goodbye now. Huh? Nonsense, is it? Hey, c -c come here. I have a claim, so I have. Uh, up in Last Chance Creek. Your own claim? Mm -hmm. <gasps> well, I'd never have thought it. Do you see those two idiots there? <laughs> Between them, they've two claims. On Bonanza Creek and another up in Adams Gulch. Every fool here in Dominion has a claim. But, as you told us all last night, you have a big, mysterious map that'll help you find a Bonanza of gold. Oh, I didn't tell people that, did I? Be careful who you trust in Dominion, Mr. Connolly. This other brother, a big drinker and brawler, is he? Seamus goes in for any kind of foolishness you can think of. You Conleys have your own business to do here. And, uh, I've got my own business here as well. It's an irregular request, but I'm a sporting man. Two hundred dollars. This claim is worth ten times that. Elsewhere, in the morning, it may be worth any amount. But tonight and here, it's worth two hundred. Excuse me. Ladies and what we shall call gentlemen. Oh. 
we show your appreciation for the Nightingale of the Emerald Isle, Miss Kate Moran. <laughs> Chicacolil was the first on the trail to go down where the Tanana flows. She said goodbye, boys, to the old Klondike Vale to go down where the Tanana flows. She's now out for Gibbon and out for the stuff. The soldiers all say, Who's this to? Treasure map. The treasure map? <laughs> <laughs> Treasure map, 300. And then a red cent less. Soapy put $300 in the way of this gentleman. Right away, sir. We all felt so jolly, we thought we'd get through. We got stuck in a china with a tough piece of Place your bets, gentlemen. Place your bets. We started from Dawson on a Monday at 2. We all felt so jolly, we thought we'd get through. We got stuck in the china with a tough piece of luck. Bad down luck, where the china now flows. I hate to see a man leave this establishment penniless. Sweep the saloon. Deliver the gold dust to Irish Pat over there, and he will give you $50. What do you say? Where's the broom? I'm sorry, lads, but if he's about, you should find him without difficulty. Do you see, the men don't have a lot of pastimes around here. I don't like to see a family separated from one another. We'll find him, Father. I swear to that. Thank you, Father. Bye. 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 An Irish priest? Oh, wow, the angels are watching down over us. I'd take a Protestant from Pennsylvania if he had news for us, a Seamus. The boy wouldn't explain it. It's an intriguing enigma, don't you think? I think. A madman, clawing uselessly for gold in the dirt, scrawled some hokum and managed to pass it as a thing of value to another madman, and in turn to you. I see no enigma. Hmm. Bear Brennan was uncouth, but he was no madman. There's something to this, I can feel it. Colonel Hopkins will be satisfied to learn that his son is kept entertained by Irish wild goose chasers and their treasure maps. Sweetheart. My appetite for your mockery has its limit. Now, Dad's gone home to Ireland because of your thievery. Well, I was going to send a letter to you, uh, to Dad, as soon as I got the claim working. 
Is that where Brennan's claim, is it? Inside that pan there. The deed is happily available to you for 2,000 US dollars. Thank you for your time, Mr. Hopkins. Good luck with this saloon and everything else you're cooking up here. Mr. Connolly, I'd offer a cash reward for an explanation of this enigmatic terrain. It has me utterly vexed. Glad to hear it. Well, you did well. Full five ounces. Fifteen dollars an ounce, that's, uh, seventy-five dollars. You're the best little sweeper we've had so far. Just give me the seventy-five. Gold or cash, not chips. You will take the fifty dollars that Mr. Hopkins promised you. A shit heel comes at a man from behind with a chair. And you with the chair! <laughs> they have Tom, Seamus. Isn't Tom well able to look after himself? Sure you know Tom. And there's there's a chance I'll never see Dad ever again because of you. Ah, listen, we'll go home to Dad when we're all rich. And this is only the start of it. We didn't come looking for gold or bloody fight neither. We came here looking for you. And, and now, God forgive me, but I regret that we bothered. It's a shame that you did. Because all I wanted was to escape you anyway. Gentlemen, let's put this ugliness behind us. Please, shake hands. Really, man, Hans? One female who I did to walk. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm going to go to your succession, good morning. Good. A language in common. You provided some rigorous exercise for past associates down there. How would you like an opportunity tonight to earn back this claim? Sorry, I'll be gone in a second. You're not going to shoot, are you? I will if you don't go back out through that window. I know you've retired. But would you please come and comb down my hair? You know it helps me rest. Is it combing you want? That is what I asked. 
Honestly, Bridget, we must improve your English. Sorry, ma'am. I am praying my rosary, and then I'll come to your room after. Were you involved with the ructions downstairs? Yeah. I hit a man across the back with a chair. You did not. I did, Faith. I nearly broke his back for him. Out you go. Um, uh, how did you come all the way to Alaska, Bridget, with only bad English? I can speak English like Charles Dickens. I just don't like talking to that pair. I'm their maid. Oh, I thought you were a... Uh, you were a... Uh, I would... You thought I was a prostitute? Uh, no, I didn't think that you looked like one, no. But uh, I thought that all the women around here worked as prostitutes, you know, yourself. <laughs> oh, aren't you the charmer now? Out you go. May God keep you safe, Bridget, and protect you from... Conley's in trouble all the time. I don't remember a time we weren't. Yes, sir. Fifty on the Indian. Fifty on the Indian. Name Jones. Jones. There we go. Seventy-five in gold on Tom Connolly. The way your luck's going tonight? Ah, you take a bit or not. Corner, we got the undefeated red nigger, Skookum Jim. Oh! Told you, all oh, that red nigger shit. Is there a man here who can referee a fight without calling Jim any class of nigger?
Stretch your mother's whorehouse. <laughs> Where does the map lead? Kiss my ass! <laughs> at this gold. But the map doesn't make any sense. I don't know anything about it. Whiskey had something to do with the headache. Maybe. How many men did you fight last night? Before me? No, no. I don't remember fighting you. Search all over for you. So they nearly killed you to find out about the map. You tell them about it. <laughs> There's nothing to tell. I don't know anything. Nobody knows anything. Where are you going? Aren't they the bastards who tortured me last night? They are not. Hopkins' office was robbed during the boxing last night. You told the whole world about your map. Hopkins wants to give the deed to your claim back. See, honest to God, too. Is it true you were robbed last night? I was relieved only of some cash and your peculiar map. Why would anyone take that? It is my understanding you made quite a broad advertisement of it. In fairness, Seamus, you did do that. You said there was bananas out there. <laughs> Here, now, we'll hit the road.
your winnings from Tom's fight. As I recall, the bout was without conclusion. You won us, you saw it. That bell never rang. I don't need a fucking bell for you! Tell you what, let's calculate your winnings. I'm here for my brother. You can pay his fine. The word is that the Connolly brothers are a right gang of outlaws. Well, we didn't come to the Klondike to dance a jig, you know. Come on. I've got better things to do than run boarding for fighting Irishmen. I'm going to make a goal. What do you have to do? I'm at all. I'm not telling you to find you. I was indeed on our plane. Oh, fair. Hey. Maybe do not find you there, come on. And you? The language. Making it up. I'm here to serve as a priest, but there's more urgent work with the hospital. Do you not have a doctor out here? Uh, sure, we've every class of man here, and they're all more interested in digging in the earth than they are in mending bones. I'll tell you about it later. Hey, why didn't you come to get me out? I was the one who was at fault there. I advised him to be careful. The Irish aren't liked by Sam Steele. Well, one of them is liked by him, Father. Hodge, go get your things. We're going up to the claim. I'll stay here another while, with Father Judge. He could use my help, sure. Oh? I'll stay here. We won't be far from each other. Right. Come on. Jim! Hi. I don't like them. And they are as tough as Mongols. You sure he wasn't holding back? I gave him the full Inquisition. I even did the English accent on him. You know how that works in us paddies? Bullshit. That map is probably nonsense. You and a family, Jim. Probably better off. That way you came with us. So I could join your happy little family. Why did you pay my fine? Hoped you could turn us into good little engines. <laughs> my people do not believe we should share our knowledge. Sorry to hear that. Show me this map again. Hmm. The people say the raven stole the sun from a powerful chief. He's our helper, but sometimes he's a trickster too. The sun brings light to the world, 
helps us see more clearly. It's the Klondike River. Plain as day. Huh? <laughs> right there. Oh, look at that, huh? <laughs> Here we go, lads. Ooh. 